Good morning, guys. Welcome to another episode of Walking in the Park with Jesse. Um, just been in the mood to get outside and, and uh, share my thoughts about all this stuff. Production music library, sync licensing, all this good stuff that we've been talking about. Uh, yesterday, just put up a video showing you guys how to find production music libraries 100% on your own. So within under 10 minutes, you can go to Google, you can type in a certain search term, and I'll show you, I show you in this video how to determine whether or not this is a library that's legit, whether it's one that's gonna be right for you, and how to compare your music to theirs, and how to understand whether or not this is gonna be a company that would be worth you submitting your music to. So, I'll link it in the description box, so definitely go check it out. But, more importantly in this video, what I wanna say, uh, I've been talking a lot about how you guys should be directly partnering with music libraries, and I know that a good chunk of you have not yet done that, or you've done it in a minimal way, but you haven't really built up really strong relationships yet, and so there's this feeling of frustration and maybe even despair that it's just too difficult, it's too hard, you're not getting enough results, you're not getting enough responses. Um, and I even had one commenter, and that's what sparked the idea for this video, one commenter that was saying that he had submitted his music to one library, got it accepted literally in an hour, which was really cool, but this one particular library took weeks and weeks and weeks, I think even months, to register his tracks and every time he emailed to them and said hey you know what what's going on why why can't you just get my stuff up there they just said oh it just takes a long time got to be patient it takes a long time and that's what they just kept telling him over and over again so he said all right well screw this i'm moving on to another company then which i don't think is a bad move if somebody's giving you sort of you know they're kind of giving you the runaround and not giving you a direct answer and a deadline and a date or really trying to earn your business as a composer then that's probably a good reason to move on for whatever reason, they might, not, they might be a legit company, but it might be just the fact that they are super busy with all their clients and they can't get to you at that point. Either way, you don't want to be working with somebody that's giving you the runaround, right? But then he moved on and, and started submitting to a whole bunch of different companies and he can tell by the stats on his website they're not even listening. They're not even visiting, they're not even clicking play. So he doesn't even know if these people actually heard his music, checked him out. He doesn't even know if he's actually got music that's licensable or not because Nobody's even given him a, a chance to try and check it out. And that sucks. That's really frustrating. And I definitely want to empathize with you, the guy that commented about that. And I know there's going to be a number of you in his shoes that you can look at your stats and you can see that nobody's even looking at your music. Nobody's even paying attention to you. How are you supposed to feel that you're on some sort of a <laughs> right track when that's happening? So that really sucks. So this is what the offer is, okay? I'm going to be offering free consultations and advice through the comment section here on YouTube, for those of you that fit into a specific category and you sort of qualify for this free help that I wanna give you, okay? The reason why there's gonna be some qualifications is because I think there could be a number of you that have not really given it the right full effort yet. So you're kind of, it's like premature for me to start giving you advice when you're still just in the beginning phases of pitching correctly and to a number of libraries, okay? So here's the qualifications, number one, You've sent your music to at least five, five production music libraries, and you've sent them all a custom pitch, okay? What's a custom pitch or a custom email? Well, it basically means that you sent one specific email to each specific company, and in your email you said, I really am impressed with your, insert company names, uh, the company name, I'm really impressed with your placements, I really think that my music would be a great addition to your current catalog. I've noticed that for example, your hip hop music um, could use maybe some more uh, rock infused hybrid sounds. And I think that my music would be a great addition to your catalog, something like that. What's that what that's communicating to a library is that you're not treating them like just some, you know, one out of thousands of companies that you're spamming your music out to. You're saying, hey, I want to date you essentially, right? I've looked, I've done my research. I've looked into who you are. I've looked into the type of companies that you work with. I've looked into your placements. I've listened to your music. I'm a real human being and I, ex I respect that you guys at this library or you person, whoever it is, um, are a real human being. And so I wanna work with you. That's what a customized pitch is. So you have to have done that and one at a time, right? At least giving a week for each one, maybe up to two, but I think a week is usually enough time to find out if they're gonna be able to get back to you and, uh, and work with you. So if you've done that, and you've done it for at least five companies, and all five have either said no, or all five have rejected you, or some mixture of rejection or ignoring you, comment below, okay? I wanna try to help you. 
I'm gonna start asking you some questions, but all you gotta do right now is just comment under this video and say, yep, that's me. Send it to, and give me the number too. I sent it to seven, I sent it to 10, I sent it to 20. Tell me how many libraries you've sent to. Let me know that you've done a specific customized pitch, okay? If you copied and pasted 10 music library web, um, email addresses into one email and just put a generic thing together that says, I'm a music producer and I wanna get music placements with you, whatever, and you just hope that one out of those 20 companies get back to you, not gonna surprise me that you're not getting any responses or clicks, okay? If that's what you're doing, this might be a wake-up call. Stop doing that. That doesn't get you any results. That's actually, I'm not even a music library, guys, and I think every week I get at least two to five either LinkedIn messages like that or emails like that. I'm like, who do you think you're emailing? You, don't even, you haven't done the research on day one to know I'm not a music library and I don't shop music for anybody. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a supervisor. Uh, I'm not a music editor. I'm not, a, I, I don't, I'm not like a middleman. I don't do anything like that. But the emails I get are horrific. <laughs> I remember one recently. It was literally like almost like three pages full of links. And it was just like, hey, if you need music for music licensing for your sync licensing projects, check out all of my music. That, if that's what's going on out there, that's what we're going to fix. Okay, we're going to starting with this video. <laughs> we're going to fix that. That's not happening anymore for you guys. Okay, we're not doing that. I, I, I hope, I beg, I really hope that's not how you guys are approaching these companies. But if you give those specific pitches, you've done it to at least five companies. And again, all of them said no. Comment below. I'm going to do anything I can to try to help you out, okay? So give me as much information as you can so that I can try to help, you know, give you some tips and pointers or maybe even just some encouragement because sometimes that's, most, that's what a lot of you guys just need. You know, you've been facing just too much rejection, not enough wins. You haven't had any wins in your category yet. So you just need somebody to give you some encouragement to tell you it sucks, it's hard, keep at it. You know, we're all in this, you know, in, in one way or another together because we've all been through the same sort of struggles and the same sort of rejections at some point in our careers. I certainly have. So that's the offer. Post your comments below.